Hey guys, it's Gordon Fascinated by Fungi. We're out here in a park in Napa. I found one of my favorite mushrooms. This is Amanita velosa or the springtime Amanita. So come on in, I'll help you guys get a look at this. So they're known for having this beautiful apricot salmon color and this thick white cottony veil on top, which is a remnant of the universal egg that this Amanita comes out of. And unlike the Okriata, this mushroom has a couple features you can really pay attention to help with ID. So it has little striations on the edge of the cap, which are visible even when at this, at this young stage. Uh, it has this thick white membrane on top that you can easily peel off. This mushroom also has a hollow stipe. So the stem inside is hollow and there's a little bit of pithy stuff in there, whereas the Amanita ocreata is completely solid on the inside. Between the color of the cap, which is this nice apricot color, that thick white membrane you can peel off, the striations on the edge of the cap, and this hollow center, along with the fact that the stipe is relatively uniform and the bottom isn't very bulbous. All those things tell you that this is a velosa and not an Amanita ocreata. This is a really gorgeous mushroom. It's, you know, I just love the color, but even more than the color and the way it looks, I love how it tastes. This is my favorite edible mushroom. It's absolutely amazing, just fried up in a pan. Uh, you don't need to do anything special. It's just really, really good just the way it is. Pull one of these out of the ground to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, when you are picking Amanitas, it's a good idea to uh, try to pick them from the base. So you wanna kinda get a knife down into the duff and try to leverage the base of the vulva up like this. And that's important for IDs. Uh, if you're not sure what kind of Amanita you're picking, the vulva is really good at helping you decide which kind of uh, Amanita you have. Because again, the Ocreata will have a more bulbous base, as does the Phylloides. Whereas in section Vaginata, which are the edible Amanitas, they have a more uniform stipe without a very bulbous base. So, um, just look, look at this mushroom. They smell great. We've got nice little super solid taps to them. It's a wonderful, wonderful mushroom. So this is Amanita Velosa, the springtime Amanita. Look at this basket of Amanita Velosa. It's just a basket of sunshine. Good stuff. Wow. Oh, hey. Look at that. More Velosa. Good stuff. So right now we're finding these underneath an oak tree and they're a little bit cryptic. They're a little hidden. They're under these shrumps. So here's what I'm looking at. A little bit of disturbance. If you kind of flip the, uh, flip the leaves up, you'll find a velosa here. So this one hasn't even emerged from its little egg yet, but you can see that telltale color on top. And even at this point, you can see little striations on the edge of the cap. But, wow, what a wonderful little mushroom.